what's up guys uh today we're doing a quick stroll around eastwood at night because uh it's different in the city when it's nighttime also there's, it's uh, kind of wet and rainy so uh it's kind of cooler you know more reflections of the light like this so uh come join me uh let's go show you this uh eastwood uh night walk let's go Uh, my slippers are kind of slippery. Uh, there's no more grip. So sorry if it's shaky and or it slips, you know? I would say that this area right here is the heart of Eastwood where most people hang out at and where there's more like events happening in. Besides the, the, like, the nightlife here and all the bars, uh, this spot right here to me is the main spot of Eastwood. All right, we switched over to point five, but we'll give you a go around of this. Usually in the weekends, there's like a Changi or markets over here, but it's a weekday, so yeah. And then uh, of course over here is to like uh, this uh, Ecom building with uh, a cinema, Eastwood Cinema. Uh, right here, there's also more food trucks. And this most popular area over here is uh, the nightlife area where people go to drink. Uh, we won't go over there because right now we're really just chasing after the lights. We're gonna head over to uh, Eastwood uh, Mall area and try to show you the lights that they got there. Also, I want to thank everyone for all the good feedback, the support, all the views and likes and comments that you guys are leaving. Thank you for that. If you enjoy this, uh, support my channel. If you're new to the channel, support it by subscribing, hitting that like button, and commenting where you want to see me go next and or uh, show you. Uh, even after the holidays, uh, you can still see they still have the Christmas up. Philippines is just like that. They really love the holidays, especially uh, Christmas time. Uh, this huge Christmas tree, we'll go over there. I'll show you some views in a bit of that Christmas tree. Uh, let's go. Maybe I'll walk through that way. Uh, Power Max Center. It's kind of like their uh, Apple store here in the Philippines. Uh, they're like authorized dealer. I would recommend if you want to buy anything like Apple, you buy here. All right. Cool tree right here. Very beautiful. There is tons of lights here. Let me get a bottom pan for you. Uh, I don't know the right angle for that, but we're gonna look for it. Maybe more over here. This is also like the second main area of Eastwood where a lot of people hang out at night times on the weekend. There is a night market here, very popular, and it's a cool place to hang out, you know? I'm trying to look for this tree. Good angle for this tree. I don't think I got it, but we'll do 0.5. Uh, where we're walking at over here is actually Eastwood Mall, uh, one of the more famous malls here. I have a go around virtual walk of this place. Might do it again because there's a lot of new shops. The cool thing about this place is Manila is always developing and has so much new things, especially Eastwood. Uh, this is a statue called the Modern Heroes. Uh, this place in Eastwood actually is like San Francisco, the modern uh, Manila. 
So that's why it kind of looks all uh, city life. And it's also like a replica, almost a replica, very similar to uh, San Francisco. So that's why they call it the San Francisco of uh, Manila, Eastwood. Yeah, pretty cool right there. Also this building or these, this, air, this city houses a lot of like, uh, is that call center buildings as well as uh, condos that people do. And then this st statue right here is called, uh, again, the modern hero statue. Yeah, there you go. See, ED, uh, Eastwood City, Modern Heroes. Uh, oh, that's cool. See, like, Eastwood and Manila itself is always developing. That wasn't there last time I was here, so look at that. Uh, that's cool. They put a new, like, New Year's star. I'll give you a walk around of this bridge. They also have this cool pond here that has uh, koi fishes. There's that beautiful Christmas tree. Uh, yeah. Coffee bean and tea leaf. The outskirts of this Eastwood Mall has like random, uh, uh, what's that called, boutiques and stuff. I'm trying to find that pond. Uh, there is also like a water show uh, at certain times, so it's pretty cool. Alright, so there's a pond over here that has like a koi fish. Look at that. Koi feeds available at the concierge. Oh, I guess you could buy co uh, koi fish food and you can feed the koi fish. Look at them, they're all coming towards me. Look at them, all, all of them. That's pretty cool, look how close they are. Uh, very beautiful. There's like a whole pond of koi fishes. They get to be around and stuff. But yeah, uh, last time I was here, they actually had like recyclable art like uh made out of like bottles now it's like these cool like uh what is this called flowers and yeah and also yeah the fountain it's pretty late right now it's probably like 9 30 almost 10 so i'm not sure if the malls are closed so we won't do a tour inside the mall we're just showing you uh this eastwood walk you know outside happy new year to everybody 2023 Again, like I said, uh, it's pretty late now. It's like 9.30. Uh, the mall is probably closed. A lot of things are blocked off right now for me to show you, but I hope you guys are still enjoying the Eastwood sights, nightlife, night walk here in Eastwood City, Bagambayan, Libis, uh, Manila, Philippines. Let's go check this out. This is also really beautiful and beautifully done. I like how they did this. Got a stray cat right there. This is a good restaurant. Uh, they close at 10. All right, they're closed now. Full air con. If you want to do that uh, air event, want to do that Manila or what's that called? Marilyn Monroe style thing, I guess you would go there. I know just over here in the corner right here there's a medical city so like a hospital and then there's more down here over here is more like the condo area look at that skyscraper high rise that's a beautiful shot right there that's cool uh, bread talk it's a little bread shop and then there's more uh, stuff down there. If you go this way, you can see the sign and actually the exit towards uh, going to C4 or C5, the C5 road. And then if we take a left, you're gonna go to McDonald's. Oh, we're gonna go try checking what else is there to show you guys. 
they have this cool anti antigen swab test for COVID-19. That's cool. Uh, we got the 1880 Eastwood Avenue building right here. Uh, also like a high rise condo skyscraper area. Pretty cool, man. Very modern here in uh, Eastwood. Can't really walk on the sidewalk. There's trees pushing my face, but yeah. All right, over here we got this church. It's called St. Paul Parish. St. John Paul the Parish, yeah. Cool bronze statue of him over there. And yeah, like I said, this is like the exit out of Eastwood going into C5. Got a random stray dog there, getting chased out by a security guard. That's funny. I missed it, but yeah. We're gonna head back, show you what else uh, you can see here on a night walk here in Eastwood. What I love about the city is also it's very uh, colorful and very artistic. Look at this. It's a phone, you know? Like they made it out of phone. Also like for skaters, yes, there is skate spots here. The outledge. All right, we're gonna head down this way. Uh, towards this way, uh, there is uh, Tim Hortons, Ipudo, Loca, Vore, and also there's like a Moss Burger this way. And of course, all these other high-rise buildings. Very beautiful. Look at them, they have like pillars and they're very, very artistically made. Look at the architecture. Again, like I said, Tim Hortons, like a little coffee donut shop. Ipudo, as I remember, is also like a food place, but uh, Japanese. Look at this building, dude. Would be nice to live there. Over there is that cutoff for where uh, the Eastwood Mall is at. Uh, I showed you guys that a little earlier. And also Starbucks, you know, the famous Star Fox coffee. Over here we got a bakery. And then the Eastwood Excel, Exler, Excelsior, Eastwood Excelsior Hotel. Sorry guys, I can't read. Uh, my tongue has been tied uh, since, you know, being here. There's also J. Coke. That's also a coffee place. Oh yeah, this is a little less uh, traveled road for me. I don't, I don't usually take this road here in Eastwood, but it's nice to see. Yeah. Uh, very quiet night right now. Most of the people, like I said, is in the heart of Eastwood where the drinking is at and also the in front of Eastwood Mall. There's a Lawson and a Watson's. Lawson, uh, that's like a Japanese conveni com combini Japanese convenience store. Uh, that's cool. I'm happy that they have a Lawson here. Might check that out later. And cool, of course, cool sights of the city, Eastwood. Uh, yeah. All right, uh, right there's McDonald's of Eastwood. On the left of that is uh, more of that like city, uh, they call it Sky uh, Star Walk, Skitty Star Walk, whatever it's called, but yeah. Uh, there's more like food restaurants there as well as that uh, bar place that I was talking about. Uh, being in this part of the city, I gotta be honest, it makes me feel like I'm in a Shinjuku or like a Shibuya, Tokyo. Besides, uh, you know, besides all these cool buildings and stuff, it just really has that real metropolis city type vibe. got uh, guards everywhere posted 
So uh, that's a good thing about Eastwood. It's safe, you know what I mean? Uh, we're making our way over here to uh, Moss Burger and um, this mall called Cyber and Fashion Mall, but they go out, call it Cyber Mall. I don't know what this building is, but right, right there. There's a lot of like Japanese Japanese influence here. There's a yellow cab. So shout outs to you, uh, Captain Jack Sparrow, who likes yellow cab. And yeah, one of my favorite places, Moss Burger. I might go over there too. I'm happy that they're also 24 hours here in Eastwood. So at late at night, you can come here and grab a bite. And then, like I said, Cyber and Fashion Mall. Uh, there's a Krispy Kreme there in the, in the morning time. You can get breakfast there. A lot of shops are closed right now there, but that's a cool place to check out. There's also a mini stop in there. And then also right near Moss Burger, you have a UCC Park Cafe. And then further down, I know there's like a steakhouse. We'll check that out. I like this spot right here, actually. When you come in to Eastwood, this is like the, actually almost like the main entrance of Eastwood. You get to see this cool view. So just down there is a bank. I think it's called BDO. I'm not sure. Oh, wait. It's called Robinson's Bank. There's also these buses that take you to Kubao. Uh, the pickup point is right near that uh, Guam. Uh, it's not called Guam. Uh, it's, it's right near that hospital. Uh, regional Medical City, something like that. That's where the pickup point of, of that is at. And then also over there, you got a 7-Eleven. It's kind of hidden. But, uh, oh, okay. So this steakhouse that I was talking about. It's actually, it's called Stone. It's closed at the moment. And they also have this uh, wine and restaurant bar, Barcino. We'll go check this area out a little bit. Just a little uh, nightlife here. Uh, it's about 10, 10 p.m. now. Again, I want to thank you guys for joining me on this uh, virtual walking tour of Eastwood City at nighttime. Maybe closing after hours. What is this? Got a little nail salon over here called Mitch and Mills Nails. And of course, like I said, uh, this is towards the main entrance of Eastwood where people would come pull in from the C5 road in Manila. We're not gonna head down that way, but we're actually gonna stop here and then I'll film uh, some other views for you. I just wanna show you this quick, quick uh, entrance views of Eastwood since I already showed you the exit. There's a different many exits. There's more like three exits here, but yeah, that's like the main entrance that people come through. And then they're greeted with this beautiful site over here. There actually was a Family Mart convenience store here. But uh, since I came, uh, it's been closed down. But yeah, uh, there's a lot of cool influences of Japan here. Like uh, convenience stores and stuff. So it's really nice to see because I do miss Japan a lot. So if you do want to see some uh, travel vlogs of Japan of mine, go check it out, man. Uh, it's, one of, it's somewhere in my play playlists, so go check it out. Uh, yeah, we're still doing our walk. Let's see what we can show you and cool sights to see here in Eastwood at nighttime when actually everything's about closed. Let's go. This is that UCC? Yeah. All right, so I'm here in one of my favorite restaurants in Japan, but we're in Manila. Of course, we're still in Eastwood, but we're at uh, Moss Burger. So I'm gonna get a quick bite, show you how that looks, and then we'll continue on with this tour. Again, thank you, thank you for watching. Like this video, subscribe, comment down below, do all that YouTube stuff that you know. Uh, support the channel so I can do more of these videos for you and show you these virtual walking tour sites and vlogs. Uh, let's go. Hey, look at that. Thank you. And rice burger. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Look at that. This is one of my favorite things, is shrimp burgers. Look how beautifully it's presented. And you got the little squared out potatoes and their cool ketchup. Uh, you know, most burger is like mountain, ocean, sun. So they're kind of about the eco, you know, ecosystem and stuff. So they got these wooden things. Uh, you guys, you got the, what's that called? Straw, cardboard straw. And this is one of the best things to ever get at most burger. What they're famous for is actually their, uh, Teriyaki rice burger. 
it's like rice patties and then a, you know, gyudon or whatever inside teriyaki mix. Beautiful. Look at that. Good stuff. All right, I'm gonna eat this. Uh, I'll show you a little bit of it and then we'll continue our walk and then we'll call the video. All right, so this walking tour has became, become uh, mukbang. So uh, yeah, again, like I said, most things here are closed. Moss Burger is open 24 hours here in Eastwood City, Manila. So uh, yeah, just remember, that's a good tip. In case you're hungry, you got the munchies late at night and you're here in Eastwood or near the area, come by. Moss Burger, man. Uh, Moss Burger, if you're looking at or watching this, sponsor your boy. Uh, things I want to talk about also in Manila. Uh, when you say orange juice, it's not really orange juice. It's going to be orange drink. And also, uh, what else is there? For food, right? If you're going to look at something in the menu and it says uh, steak, just be sure it's going to be a steak because most times when they give it to you, it becomes pork, like a pork steak. What I notice is, uh, even when I went to this Korean place, uh, I tried to get kalbi, which is usually like uh, short ribs, uh, beef, short ribs. But when I got it, it was actually like a pork, uh, a pork belly. So that's the kind of differences that, that I noticed on food places in Manila that they kind of do. Orange juice is not really orange juice, and steak is not really steak, it's pork. But I'm gonna eat this burger, maybe show you a fast, fast, uh, fast time lapse of it, and then we'll continue on with the tour, uh, and then we'll head back home. Let's go. Uh, I actually just wanna show you this burger. It's called the heavy burger, one of my favorite things, especially from Japan, but they, you know, they have it here in Manila. Most burger, heavy burger, shrimp burger. That's good. Really good stuff. Most burger. Sponsored boy. I love this stuff. Also, I want to give you a, a sight of this uh, rice burger. Uh, you can actually just cold pick it up like a burger. But they do give you these spoons that you can eat it like regular rice. But I think that defeats the purpose of calling it burger. So, there you go. They give you this cool wrapper, very beautifully done. That Mount Fuji there. I found Mount Fuji in 2011. I have a video of that, so if you want to check that out, 2011, just search it up of, uh, you know, this channel. But yeah, here it is. Like this teriyaki burger. Teriyaki rice burger. Give that bad boy back. Dude, that meat right there is meat, not pork like I was saying. Probably my, one of the best recommendations I'm gonna tell you to get here in uh, Moss Burger Eastwood is this teriyaki rice burger. It's pretty good and it's hefty, look at that. And also the price is actually cheap for all of this and this little set cost me about $10. Look at this potato. Hash brown, sorry. Wow. Stuff, Moss Burger. <laughs> cool. So I got to spin this game, and I got a free hash brown. You had to take some to go, and let me tell you, some means a lot to me. God damn, let's get out of here. Sponsor me, Moss Burger. Hey, right, like you just saw, I ate a Moss Burger here in Eastwood City. Moss Burger, sponsor me, please. I need that. Uh, let's continue on with this uh, virtual walk. And like I said, thank you again for joining me on this. Let's go. That fucker just ran that light. Uh, this area right here, we have Yoshinoya just across over there and uh there's this cool uh, cafe thing or like a bar 
you can actually uh, buy wine and paint. It's called a sip and go, like uh, Vincent Van Gogh. It's pretty cool. It's over there. Yeah, sip and go is like over there. It's like a painting slash uh, wine drinking thing. And you got this really cool pixel uh, painting. Not really a painting. Uh, I think this is mosaic. Mosaic stones right here in Eastwood. Right also near Yoshinoya. Of course, you got American fast food, Wendy's over here. Uh, you man, things here in uh, Manila are totally different from what you're gonna, what you're used to. So for like the Wendy's here, the McDonald's and all that other stuff, they have their own menu and their own type of taste. It's just different, you know? Wow, all these lights here, beautiful. Uh, yeah. But we're, we're heading our way back home. I'm not gonna call the video just yet. So stay tuned. I'll show you some sights of uh, Eastwood. But I hope you guys enjoy that. There's a Dunkin' Donuts over here. But yeah, we're gonna go cross. And I think I'll show you a place that a lot of uh, like students and a lot of like uh, call center people go to. Uh, it's called Mini Stock. It's like the convenience store. And again, a lot of people there just hang out, buy really cheap, good meals, and they spend a the night there. Let's go check it out. Alright, it's right near this call center. Yeah, like I said, a lot of paintings, a lot of artwork here. This uh, this call center here is also uh, called Global One. They used to have a family mart over there. I don't know if the, the, the things are still there. There's a Joyride. Joyride here is a uh, kind of like a grab or like an uber uh we started off the video here i believe we're gonna head our way towards this way i don't know what's going on with this family mart over here but there's a family mart i was talking about it's closed down and i think uh this is also like a hotel and right near it is also uh it's like called call center but there's these cool like uh, little stores here like restaurants i know there's a laundromat over there you got this, uh, you know, place to change money. Also, uh, like loans. Uh, jewelers. Maybe a pawn shop, maybe? Maybe. Uh, what else we got over here? We got Wang Fu, Chinese uh, cuisine. And stuff opening up soon. That's the cool thing about this place. It's also still developing. Got a lot of people building and more. Uh, there's a famous Goldilocks here. They're closed, but uh, cake shop, cake, mamon. Certain Goldilocks is around uh, Manila. Actually have like rice meals. This one does not have it. But yeah, we got a pancake house here. Famous pancake house. You could uh, come here for breakfast. I'm not sure what time they open, but they're closed at the moment. ATM, cash withdrawal, UB, Union Bank. And we're making our way over here. There's a bakery here. There it is. Uh, yeah, Domino's. Pizza. Uh, bakery. Uh, Macau Imperial Tea. Damn, this bakery's open 24-7. Cool stuff. Another cool thing here in Eastwood, if you're craving bread besides Moss Burger, 24 hours right there. And then right over here, we're going to see a uh, romantic baboy. It's kind of like an all-you-can-eat Korean joint. Uh, unlimited Korean, yeah. They're closed at the moment right now. People are closing up right there. But yeah, it's uh, like, you know, you can get all this food here, cook there. And yeah, it's a good place. Got all the sides and stuff. Korean meals, Korean. I love Korean food. Shout out to Korean people and their food. Over here is the mini stop I'm telling you about where a lot of people come. They get some snacks and, you know, other people that work here or live in the area, they go to and get food at. Over here, I forgot what this place is, the La Grande Hotel, slash, uh, mm, uh, whatever, I forgot what it's called. I forgot how they're supposed to change the name to Uncle John's, this mini stop. Yeah, this place has like cool, like quick grabs, 24 hours as well. Cool convenience store. Got chicken. Kind of sold out of the one I was trying to get. I was trying to get this bread called Karimon, but they don't have it. Yeah, check it out. Drinks. 
some chips, some noodles, fast food, bread that you could get. And you could, yeah, cook it here and eat it here and more. But yeah, that was mini stop. They didn't really have what I needed, so we're okay. All right, guys, uh, I think you had enough of me talking, but I hope you enjoyed this uh, virtual walking tour of me showing you Eastwood, my local, here when I'm in Manila. Thank you again for watching. My name is Mark. Peace. I'm out.